following me everywhere. I need, I need to find something to hold on to so it won't blow me away. Oh wait, I think I see something. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh. oh. Okay. I think I just needed a rope or an anchor or something to hold on to. And I'm standing still. I, I think this helped, but I, I think the wind stopped. <laughs> oh, those crazy indoor wind storms. Oh, well. <sighs> oh, you know, those winds kind of remind me of all of the confusing things that are happening in the world around us. Um, you know, like, how do we know what to believe? Like, should we wear a mask or should we not wear a mask? Should we go into school to learn or should we do distance learning at home? Or maybe you have even tougher questions like, uh, is God here? Does he care? Is he stronger than all the things going on in the world around us? Will he help us? Oh my, I feel like looking for those answers could send us bouncing all over the place like being blown around in the wind. But does God want us to be that way? No. The book of Hebrews tells us that when we trust God and his promises, they're like an anchor for your soul. And you know what an anchor does? It helps keep you from drifting. It helps keep you one in one place. So this would help keep us close to God. And when we believe on these promises and when we act on them, our faith grows stronger. And then listen what happens to us. This is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 4 through 15. We will no longer be babies in the faith. We won't be like ships tossed around by the waves. We won't be blown here and there by every new teaching. We won't be blown around by cleverness and tricks. Certain people use them to hide their evil plans. Instead, we will speak in truth and love. So we will grow up in every way to become the body of Christ. Christ is the head of the body. And this is important because what sometimes happens is this. As we start paying more attention to maybe hearing what our friends say, or by what's happening in the news, or by seeing certain things on the internet, we might forget what God says. And then we might start acting like those around us, which could lead us to feeling fearful and thinking only of ourselves. And it's sort of like we start drifting away without an anchor. But never fear, because we have some help for that in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 23 through 25. Let us hold firmly to the hope we claim to have. The God who promised is faithful. Let us consider how we can stir up one another to love. Let us help one another to do good works. And let us not give up meeting together. Some are in the habit of doing this. Instead, let us encourage one another with words of hope. Let us do this even more as you see Christ's return approaching. Did you hear what these verses said? We need each other. We're part of the body of Christ, and we need to help each other remember what God says in his word. <clears throat> it's important to come together and to encourage each other. Okay, okay, I can hear what you're thinking in your head. You're saying, Miss Charlene, I have a one word for you, COVID. <laughs> you're right. Being in a pandemic does make it more challenging to come together, but it's not impossible. This is not the first pandemic the world has had, and people have found ways to connect with each other. And not only that, there are right now Christians in other parts of the world that could be arrested or even killed if they met together. But it's so important to them that they find creative ways to do it. So, we can be creative as well, capiche? Speaking of Zoom, you can connect with other families that way and maybe catch up with each other and to encourage one another. Oh, and by the way, if you do choose to come to church, because we can, if you come to the church building, you can stay outside and stay six feet apart from other people, and you can have fellowship with one another. Or you could even just start within your family and watch the service together and talk about it afterwards, and that helps keep you anchored in God's word. But whatever you do, 
encourage each other to stay anchored in God's word. And keep these words in mind from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 15 through 17. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Let the message about Christ live among you like a rich treasure. Teach and correct one another wisely. Teach one another by singing psalms and hymns and songs from the Spirit. Sing to God with thanks in your hearts. Do everything you say or do in the name of the Lord Jesus. Always give thanks to God the Father through Christ. And who knows, you may also be showing those around you the best way to be living through these challenging times. So stay anchored and I'll see you next week.